Uh, check how you feeling about your performance in the fight tonight. Uh, I'm feeling uh, messed up, but good, you know, by, by the win. It was uh, really difficult for me to, um, yeah, to, to reach uh, the result for tonight. Because I used to, uh, to train with uh, bad injuries. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy and satisfied, you know, so I can back in, uh, in, so in California right now <laughs> and celebrate and keep doing my thing. I have some uh, good uh, treatment uh, as healing for, for, for my shoulders. Very good. I feel very good and happy. Yeah. So, so your shoulder is not feeling too good tonight is what you're telling us? Yeah, not, not really. Was that a pre-existing issue? Yes. So uh, I used to do that uh, three months, uh, three weeks ago during the camp in Vegas with my partners. So uh, I used to uh, push myself and uh, and check also uh, with the performance I used to do uh, during the training camp uh, if I could uh, fight or not. And uh, you know, sometimes I'm stubborn, but uh, it was pretty good. But uh, I didn't think you know it was pretty bad, you know. You know, with the big guys, because also it was fresh, like a ball. And, uh, <coughs> but it was good. It was really good. How exhausting is that, you know, being up against the cage and sprawling that much? I mean, he, Sean's a very big guy, so how exhausting was that? No, it, it was pretty good. Honestly, uh, uh, without the injuries, it, uh, it was uh, easy to, uh, to handle him. But uh, it was pretty difficult to deal with the pain, because uh, at the level, it was uh, around the 7-8. And sometimes it just make me pass out a little bit. So uh, um, I used to stay focused for that. And uh, yeah, just try to, uh, to reach the, the, the decision. Of course, uh, I knew uh, I could, uh, I could uh, strike with, uh, against him. But I wanted to make the mistake, you know, just uh, drop and just uh, try to, uh, to get up and uh, force on my shoulders. But it was good. It was really good. Did you expect a different fight from him? Uh, no, because uh, honestly, I didn't uh, pay attention about uh, his video, about his fight, uh, about the, yeah, the, the, the first fight he used to do. And, um, you know, all my guys told me, okay, you have, you have to watch uh, what, what he did and uh, how he can perform. And I said, oh, who cares, you know, and uh, I just uh, used to think uh, that somebody, you're going to try to uh, rush everybody, you know, push them against the fan and uh, land some big combo or uh, put it down, you know, with the shot, with the good shot. So I was uh, uh, aware, you know, and attentive uh, about his, uh, his game, you know. Can you talk about some of the, uh, the uh, injuries that you were dealing with? Yeah, so uh, by the shoulder? Yeah. Yes, um, I, I just uh, dislocated my uh, left and right shoulder and, uh, and uh, the right clavicle. So he just moved, and uh, yeah, he's uh, he's been full. Why did you choose to continue and take the fight? Uh, cause my clavicle didn't move. Mm. It was the thing. So all the time, you know, uh, and that's the thing happened. You know, for the guys, you know, get the dislocated uh, shoulder, mm. he move and sometimes come back or get stuck, and uh, they have to uh, to go back to the hospital uh, to get some uh, or to the physio. To get uh, readjusted, and uh, fortunately for me, for about my case, you know, yeah. it's just moving. Yeah, okay. yeah. You're gonna get to the doctor, obviously. No, no, he yeah, didn't do anything. He just give me some pills, and uh, now the thing I have to do that's uh, to to see a physio. That's what I have to do. Well, I have to say, Sheik, I mean, I saw you on Thursday night for your whole workout, and I would have never in a million years thought that you had an injury going into this fight. Yeah, because uh, they knew already what's going on, so they just tried to make me work out you know, in the easy way to uh, about the strike and about the, the ground game, just to make me feel more comfortable. And even if I was in trouble, just to uh, end all the situation and uh, get up as soon as possible. But, yeah, but it was good. You know, I'm, I'm not... Uh, I'm not uh, upset. I'm really satisfied about what I did uh, tonight and uh, what I used to do also during my training camp. I had the good partners. They pushed me a lot. Even with my injuries, you know, they uh, they were they were not nice 
and just uh, be a, a pity about uh, about my case. They just push me, push me, push me, because that's the thing I asked to them, you know. And also, yeah. And uh, sometimes you have to do the thing, you know, like this, just to be the best. So uh, one day, I, I wish. So I'm not uh, hurry, and if I can, that's good. If not, whatever. But I just used to try. And obviously, it was important to get the win after the fight you dropped to Mark Hunt. Uh, yes, uh, for some reason, yes, for the business, for to stay in, uh, on track in UFC, yes. But uh, for myself, you know, uh, I used to. So, um, uh, Mark Hunt is a good guy. You know, uh, we used to spar together. And I have nothing against him, but uh, I think uh, if I was focused during this fight, you know, I get uh, the win, no doubt, you know. I have no doubt about that, but uh, yeah, it wasn't my night. Are you disappointed at all by not putting on the big show for the fans? I try, a little bit, yeah. Uh, I'm a little bit disappointed, but uh, uh, I, I try my best. So hopefully the... They love what I, what I what I could do, and uh, the fact to perform this year tonight, yeah, was pretty satisfied. Uh, uh, I just yeah, uh, said, said yes, that's fine for for them, you know. But uh, yes, and the fact that it was such a grinding fight with you know a lot of cage clinching, uh, did that sort of play into his hands, and that you had the clavicle injury? Yes. And would it have uh, been more preferential for you, I guess, to have a striking affair? It was the same. Because uh, uh, I guess the fan, or if I, I used to uh, to land some strike, should be the same. Because even with the impact, you know, mm. it, it could move, but not probably uh, not too uh, easy and quickly, like uh, like it happened. Mm -hmm. but, uh, but you never know what's going on with the, with the, uh, with the, the shoulder when you you, you mess it up. Mm. So. Check anybody you want to fight next. Just the best, you know, just the best uh, stun track. Uh, Who do you think that is right now? Honestly, I don't care. So uh, I just think about uh, Roy Nelson because uh, he was thinking about me. He tweeted, uh, did you see? Well, obviously you didn't see. Because I'm thinking after the fight you might have looked, but during your fight he just put a long snore, like a long zzz on Twitter that he was bored with your fight. Yeah, but whatever, you know. Uh, you never know what's going on. And so that's the same for, if I used to say that, you know, about his performance, you know, I could say the same. But I have to be respectful, and also some some guys who want to bring and build a big hype just to make them really uh, 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 confident and also interesting about the fight. You know, of, of course he's a, he got a heavy end, he got a good game, uh, grand game. So he doesn't uh, he doesn't make uh, a good fighter because uh, okay he just uh, used to fight some uh, good guys, but it's not enough. You're of course, he won the, the tough, but he's not enough. You're a very quiet, uh, humble, respectful fighter. Uh, do you f take great offense when guys come out at you like that and start talking trash? You know what? So uh, right here, I have my friend, you know, just uh, behind you. And uh, if I used to say uh, uh, somewhere, you know, I just have to, to be, I'm, I'm polite now, you know. I'm, I'm, somebody, uh, I'm somebody really uh, cool and down on earth. But uh, of course, I don't like to, uh, to be. Uh, to, uh, I don't like that people pick on me, you know, and just like, uh, using some bad name about myself and uh, and treating me like shit or rubbish. But uh, most of the time, in social, especially where, where I'm from, it's just like okay, let's fight, you know, no matter what, you know, I don't have to. I don't need to wait to be in a cage or something like that. But right now, it's a big, it's a business and uh, whatever what's happened, everything is gonna be set on the, during the kid during the. Uh, during the bout in the cage, mm -hmm. you know, so I just take my time and, uh, yeah, one day. Are you the toughest guy in France? I don't know, but uh, I'm one of the guys, you know, who never give up. Yes, I don't like to give up. You better kill me than, you know, leave me alive. Even, you know, for, for the game, for the fight or for whatever. How do you feel about all the talk about um, coming to France, the UFC coming to France? That's pretty good, you know. Uh, I work a, lo a lot, you know, on this project, you know, with different guys in France, uh, with a different minister. And uh, hopefully the things is going to happen out there, you know, and make uh, all, the fi all the French fans, you know, all the fans around the world, you know, appreciate the fact you come visiting France also and just enjoying the, the time uh, for the fight uh, with UFC.
Mm-hmm. Are there a lot of fighters in France that are that a lot of us don't know about? Oh yeah, you, you, that's a huge tank, you know, for good fighter. So some guys uh, get too much uh, really excited, and the other one uh, take time uh, to perform on the railway. You know, we get uh, Francis Carmon, uh, we have uh, Carla Moussou, mm-hmm. for, for the one who we used to see uh, on, the, on the American channel, we get also Norman Parisi, uh, and different one, you know, and no, but uh, really good. So uh, I'm not the reference or so somewhere. I'm the big guy, you know, just to, to represent France, you know, and uh, the dedication of the MMA. But we got some who uh, would take the, the follow. So that's good. So I could say, okay, bye, guys, and I <laughs> leave the, the place uh, for the new generation. And also we get, uh, uh, we have somebody, you know, uh, like, uh, that, that's a good guy, pretty tough, you know, stubborn. But really good, uh, and his name is uh, Moïse Rambon. So he just, uh, I just, yeah, just make a little dedication, you know, for for him. Did he, yeah, dedicate this uh, this word. To don't give up, you know, you're gonna be there as soon as possible, and keep doing your your great game. There was a really touching moment at the press conference when that nine-year-old girl got up and said, "I love you." How special was that for you as a fighter? Uh, special. That's uh, that's huge. Uh, I never expect uh, to the attitude and uh, those feeling from people. You know? mm-hmm. And uh, since I'm in UFC, or not since, but uh, way before UFC and, and more with UFC, it's getting big and huge. And uh, I got a lot of uh, feeling, you know, with many people, a lot of loves. And that's the thing, you know, make you like, uh, oh, that's awesome. Mm-hmm. I, uh, I can deal with that, you know, and it's just like... Uh, that's wonderful. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I read that everybody uh, can get the same feeling, the same attitude uh, from the fan, and uh, then and those things uh, make them better. Mm-hmm. Thanks. Uh, thank, thank you. you. So they're not being active in the doctor. No.